All right, today I'm going to work on the furnace and give it a bit of an upgrade. Rather, continue working on it. I've got a corner post so I can install for a burner tube. And then I got my insole wall in. This is the one inch thick material. It's rated for 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'll probably just put some clips in as I go. Now I just have to decide where I want the tube to be and go from there. Oops, as I <laughs> knock over my desk. All right, so I've decided I am going to try to install the burner tube on the front and have it kind of parallel with the the foot pedal for the lid. Um, that way it, it should be out of the way. Um, I'm planning on roughly having one inch of the fiber wool insulation and then about one inch, maybe a little bit thicker for the um, refractory on the inside. Um, that's going to leave me a lot of space in here. Um, so I might have to thicken the refractory wall. Um, I really won't know until I play with a couple melts. But um, I think what I'll do is just plan for two inches for now. So I need to install this so it's coming in kind of straight. I'm, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and um, that it's kind of hitting the wall so it will spiral. So the next thing I need to do is kind of cut a curve into the end of this pipe so it'll kind of be aligned with the refractory when it's installed. And then also cut in a hole obviously for the pipe itself. So I got a little pattern I'm going to do and get that cut. Um, probably have to use my Dremel cutting tool for that. Um, otherwise I don't think a four inch grinder cutoff wheel is going to be, I think that might be a bit big and in the way. So I will provide an update when there's something to update. <laughs> So we have the whole cut. Um, the only problem is right now it's kind of cut for going straight in um, at, at an angle, which I want it to be at parallel. So it's going to shoot the flame in along the wall and then spiral around the, the, the furnace. So one thing I need to do right now is widen the hole a little bit on the right and on the left so it'll go straight in. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. Okay, I've marked roughly where I think it's going to need the opening enlarged. So I'm just using the existing cut that I had here, but if you set it on top and kind of look down at it, it's roughly where that's going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and grind that out real quick. Okay. 